We haven't been doing a whole lot. No. We've been here for three weeks. We haven't been doing a whole lot because I've been still recovering from my surgery, which I'm fully recovered from surgery now. Yeah. However, it didn't work. Yeah. So I'm going to need another surgery. Me too. At less than two weeks before I have to have another surgery. So we're going to go have some fun. <laughs> yeah. We're going to do something today that we have not done for over 10 years. Yeah. And we're going to do it in a way that we've never done it before. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bacon, barbecue, and goodness. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay. What you got in there? Heaven, pure heaven. Heaven in a jar. It's chocolate ice cream with chocolate syrup. And we have mini M&Ms, Kit Kats, brownies. Pretzels. Oh my goodness. You gotta see this park job. I am not a parallel parker. And uh, man, it's like back in the RV and I'm not even, <laughs> I got half the space still available on this side. I'm <laughs> up on the curb. <laughs> I barely missed the poles. Oh my gosh, I got the wheels turned the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. Today we're doing some bowling. Yes. We haven't been bowling in over 10 years. Yeah, it's, it's been like 13, really. Which is crazy because we used to bowl all the time. That's right. We bowled in leagues. leagues. I've yeah. been bowling since I was could walk almost. Yeah. And I bowled in leagues forever. Mm -hmm. I bowled in the Army. Yep. Bowled in the Armed Forces Armed Europe tournament yep. for a few years when we were stationed in Germany. And But I haven't touched a bowling ball. This is going to be comical. Yeah. Well, Because and, for you, it's... A, it's it's it serious. comes back. Well, it, and it comes back to you naturally. Yeah. Things don't come back to me naturally. <laughs> yeah. It takes like it'll take like ten games for me to get into a groove again. But we're used to having our own stuff. Yes. We're used to having our own equipment, our own gloves, our, our shoes, own balls. And balls. Yeah. And we have none of that. What is your goal, score-wise, oh, for score -wise? bowling today? I was gonna say my goal is to not fall down. Okay. Well, that's goal number one. Because <laughs> I have been known to cross the line and slide. So yeah. My goal is to not fall down. Okay. My goal after not bowling in the past 13 years is going to be to break 100. Okay, that's, that's respectable. <laughs> I'm, I'm setting a realistic, that's respectable. reachable goal. Now, I carried an average of over 200 yes. when I bowled competitively. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I'm shooting for like 150. <laughs> if I can get 150 with a house ball and house shoes and not bowling for 10 years, yeah. I will take that as a win. <laughs> but this isn't just a regular bowling alley. No. This is a really cool bowling alley. Yes. So we'll show you inside. So we excited. haven't even seen inside yet, but no, I've only seen pictures of it and it made me want to come right away. So. It's supposed to be really, really cool. Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. One of the first things you're always going to want to do when you get your new RV is change out the mattress. Absolutely. Because the mattresses that come in these things, <laughs> it's like sleeping on plywood, yes. honestly. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Aurora Lux yes. in the soft, oh, yeah. in the RV King, <laughs> and it regulates our body temperature. It has like science going on in there that yes. keeps you at a perfect 88 degree sleeping temperature. But if that's not for you, they have a bunch of different styles, a bunch of different firmnesses, yes. and they're custom made for RVs. Yes. So they will fit 
in RVs. Exactly. Unlike some regular mattresses that you'll find in the store. They also come with a 120 night sleep trial, a 10 year warranty, and free shipping directly from the factory in Arizona. They don't just have mattresses. No. They have accessories. I love accessories. We have the pillows, the sheets. Um, our daughter has one of their weighted, weighted blankets. blankets. They yeah. also have mattress protectors and all kinds of other accessories. Hey, check this out. This is the most coolest part. We can save you 25% mm -hmm. on your next RV mattress with RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. All you gotta do is pop over to the link in the description of the video and use the promo code WAGS and save 25% at checkout. Well, we've been in Eglin for about a month now, mm -hmm. leaving in a couple of days, and uh, we haven't done the museum yet. No. They have the Air Force Armament Museum, uh -huh. and it's cool because it's not on Eglin Air Force Base. Yeah. So you don't need to be an ID card holder or have any kind of military ties or affiliations open to be to open to the public, and it's free. Yes. And so I am going to share a bunch of fun facts for you today. Oh, you're just going to... Stuff that you probably never knew. Blow my mind with knowledge, huh? And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you're thinking, oh man, museum? Can't be that fun. But remember what happened last time we went to a museum? I did not have sexual relations with that woman. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> yes. So we're going to have fun. Yeah. Did you know that the SR-71 Alpha Blackbird cruises at over 2,000 miles per hour? No. Okay. And the pilot of this particular SR-71 Alpha Blackbird is... Colonel Pew. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> this is cool because this plane has a ball. <laughs> it's a boy plane. No, it has this, which is really cool. It's like where the gunner sits under the aircraft and uh, does this shooting all around. I guess he can control this thing 360 and as long as you don't like shoot your own landing gear out and shoot your own props out from the front then you're good but uh, yeah that just goes to show you you can still do a lot of damage with just one ball <laughs> she's trying not to laugh you can laugh it's okay it's I was funny. learning and educating myself and I hear you say something about proving you can function with one ball I said you can still do a lot of damage with, oh, with one ball, ball. yeah <laughs> What are you learning? This was a badass. I know, it has a ball. <laughs> Did you know that if you look up Air Force aircrafts in alphabetical order, this is the first one that you will see. And this is the F-111E. So why is it first in alphabetical order? I don't know. Because it's the aardvark. <laughs> and if I'm the enemy, I'm like, aardvark doesn't sound that scary to me. <laughs> I think I think I could probably take an aardvark. <laughs> you ever punch an aardvark? They can't take a punch very well. No, I haven't. No, trust me. This is the saber. And this is the scorpion. And I kind of feel like the Air Force was just naming aircrafts after American gladiators at one point. Scorpion and Sabre, weren't those American gladiators? Maybe these were around before then and maybe gladiators stole their names from the Air Force. No, no. You ever think of that? No. No. American gladiators, very original. They came up with very original stuff and names and even costumes. <laughs> so I take quite offense oh, okay. to you dogging on American gladiators. <laughs> But anyway, we have Saber and Scorpion here, named after American Gladiators. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Not just no. Hail no. And I'll tell you why. Tell me why. First of all, it's one of the little bitty, first of all, I don't like flying. Well, true. And little bitty airplanes like this, no. But this one is cute. I think I could fly this one. But these are the kinds that crash all the time. Well. And that's the reason why no. Let me tell you the reason why hell no. Okay. You might notice that it's painted black. Yeah. It's painted black because they didn't want people to see it. Yeah. They painted it black and then flew night missions over the Ho Chi Minh tra Trail 
in Vietnam. Oh yeah, that's a no-go. That's why the hell no. <laughs> yeah. So not just no, but hell no. Whoever flew this tiny plane had big cojones <laughs> to, to do that kind of a mission. I don't know if this plane could could allow the carry capacity for the size balls you would have to have to yeah. fly this thing over yeah. the Ho Chi Minh Trail at night, night. in Vietnam. No. Yeah. It's a armored reconnaissance scout vehicle. Yes. <laughs> Named after scout. scout. That's right. No. Yeah. <laughs> No, but we were just talking about the little Cessna, the little black Cessna, yeah. and how you had to have big, huge balls to uh, to man that. Yeah. Same with this, if yeah. not more. Yeah. Because this is an EOD vehicle. Yeah. And EOD stands for Explosives Ordnance yeah. Disposal. Yeah. And so basically military bomb squad. They yeah. wear the big suits and they go up and kick bombs and try to defuse them and all that good stuff yeah. before people like me run over them and die <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean it's armored it can take a hit it can take a hit but i mean when your job is to mess with bombs all day yeah <laughs> well, yeah you gotta you gotta have a pair you gotta yeah <laughs> But yeah. it's cool that it's named the scout vehicle. It is. <laughs> he would look so cute in it, he would. too. Just put him like right up top, <laughs> head sticking out of the top. Yeah, he'd rock it, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> Love it. Contrary to popular belief, this bomb is not named after a place in the desert. It is actually, it stands for, what's it called? Massive Ordnance Air Blast. Yeah, Massive Ordnance Air Blast. And, but it's also known by another name. The mother of all bombs. <laughs> Which fits the acronym too. Yeah. Heck Mother yeah. of all bombs. It is. Fear it, her. This is like one of the biggest bombs ever. Yeah. Other than like a nuke, obviously. But this thing will do some damage. It has yeah. to be on its own trailer. It gets like put in those cargo aircrafts yeah. and they just kind of shoot it on out the back of the aircraft and just yeah. let her fall, man. <laughs> it's got the little spinnies on the back. As it says on the plaque here, it is 1.35 times more powerful than TNT. And TNT is pretty powerful oh, itself, yeah. so yeah. This thing's gonna make a huge dent. I hope we can find some video. Yeah, I wanna see video or, of it. Or pictures exploding. or something of the devastation that this thing causes. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's the mother of all bombs. Yes. How comfortable is your seat? Not very comfortable. It's not very comfortable. No. Yeah, I remember flying in aircrafts like this. In the cargo aircraft, and you're just kind of bouncing along. You got your, you're holding on to your deal. You know, you got your helmet stuck in the thing. And yeah, it's a... Uh, it's not a comfortable. It's just a, like a cot rack with a little piece of fabric over it yeah. for the seat and then the cargo net backing and yeah. No thanks. Well, a lot of the Space A. That's true. A lot of the Space A flights, because we can fly anywhere Space A. Now some of them have like commercial some seats commercial that, that click into where the cargo is, but some is just on the sidewalls have seats like this. Little like over the lap belts and that's it. How would you do? I that? would do okay. I've, you on the other hand would Because <laughs> I've done it before. I had no choice when I was in combat and we were doing combat landings and because you're sitting sideways in the aircraft. So now like when the aircraft's there's no there's no we're making our final descent. Please stow your tables and put your, put your seat, in the seat in the upright. There's none of that. No, it's like and you're like Whoa, and you're down. There's no there's no final descent. So when you're sitting on the sidewall like this, you're like <laughs> that, leaning down when the aircraft's gonna go and land and then ski, and then you're back upright. Like a roller coaster. Way less fun than a roller coaster. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. They don't shoot at you when you're on roller well, coasters. I know. <laughs> but I mean, the feel yeah. of it is like a roller coaster. Because inside the aircraft, you can hear everything the surface to air, fire. You can hear the countermeasures, which is like, so it's like the flares that come right, out the yeah. back of the aircraft for surface to air heat seeking uh, missiles and stuff. So yeah. you can you can hear countermeasures being fired out the back of the aircraft. You can hear the surface to air, small arms fire. And you're like going straight down. So you don't know, like, are we landing? Or are we are crashing? We trash? Have we been shot down and I don't know it yet? Because the pilot doesn't come on and go, excuse me, um, go ahead and tighten your seat belts. We just got shot out of the sky. <laughs> Will you make combat sound very entertaining? 
not. Well, you have to make fun of it, <laughs> or else you'll just go crazy. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't trade those memories for the world. Though. Yeah. No. Okay. But but because I lived. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I had died, there'd probably be a couple things I'd change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joining the military. <laughs> yeah. So that's some interesting fun facts. What? Learn some stuff you didn't know. Uh-huh. Yeah. About bombs and balls. <laughs> American gladiators. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot to see inside. We couldn't talk. No. Because of the ceremony going on. It's a retirement ceremony. But there's lots of cool stuff. You gotta come here. I mean it's free. Why not? Yeah. Why would you not come here? Yeah. I mean, it's in the Panhandle of Florida, which is beautiful. It's right outside of Air Force Base, which everything's nice near an Air Force Base. And you see jets fly constantly. Yeah, the jets are always flying over. Matter of fact, we have to take a break in between filming outside to not have the background noise of the jets flying over. <laughs> and uh, and it's free. Yeah, win-win. Well, that's it for the Fort Walton Beach area and, and uh, Destin, Destin. Eglin, Eglin, Air Force Base, whatever. Oh, we didn't, Honestly, we didn't do a whole lot. No. While we were here. RV stuff. Yeah, we did a little bit of bowling, a little bit of exploring with some friends, and yeah. a bit of museum stuff. And, but not really, for the most part, for the whole month, it was a little bit of maintenance. Lauren yeah. came down for three days. Yeah. Got to see us and hang out. Yeah. It's some so crazy to see her pregnant. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. It's so weird. But uh, anyway, we had a great time here, yeah. and now headed back down to Orlando for surgery, unfortunately. So in less than a week, I'll get that done. and. Yep. We'll do that, and we'll recover, and then we'll get back at it, man. Someday we'll get out of Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> anyway, hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a yeah. fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the yep. video. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.